Is Russia a dark, scary place full of bears and bad guys? Watch this video and let me know in the comments. Right next to the noisy cars, Josiah, over here. At the old Soviet abandoned military facility. Yeah, very interesting. I'd love to climb up in it. What I'm also thinking is I don't want to fall in the water and die. Hello and welcome again to Expat American. I am the Expat American here with Pavel and Josiah in the middle of nowhere Today we are off-roading through Russia, not in Moscow and not in any city. Come along with us in this video. So it's a little after 8 a.m. on Saturday morning, and Josiah and I, where is he? There he is, are headed to meet Pavel and leave the city of Moscow. How does Moscow look? Early morning. I like that um, church in the background. Where'd it go? There it is. in Russia, a little bit outside of Moscow. Does it look like America to you? It does to me. This is Pavel's car. Look at it. Big, strong, manly car. This logo is for a Russian famous car company for off-roading. Is that right, Pavel? Yeah. First it was military great. Now it's for civilian people. It's called UAZ. 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 And in English it would look like Y-A-3. <laughs> right? Y-3. <laughs> Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I know. Is it a backwards today? <laughs> All right, let's go right. for it. There's a really old magazine made in, in the years, in the years sometimes. Znakonti, Joseph, American. Yeah, American, it's my big shiny. Cockshaw. Hello, sir. My name is Serge. My name is Joseph. <laughs> Ну как? Как это план? Все, уже едем сразу. Съезжаем. Молодец. Ольга. Красивая Ольга. 
We are out in the middle of nowhere in Russia. A lot of people say in the comments, I'm in Moscow too much, that Moscow is different from Russia. So in this video, we will be outside of Moscow and seeing what Russia really looks like. Um, got our new boots on for snow that Pavel told us to buy. And uh, these are Pavel's friends, who are, some of which are also YouTubers who will be going on this journey with us off-roading. Uh, so not only are we outside of Moscow, we'll be outside of any city or roads at all. Pavel's fixing his camera. Josiah's yawning. I'm taking the caps off of these tires because Pavel has to deflate them. Why do you have to deflate them, Pavel? To lower the ground pressure and improve the traction. To lower the ground pressure. All the manly men watching the show right now know what that means. Pavel has a daughter, so it's his version of Kristoff, his little helper, just like I have my little helper when Josiah's not around. Pavel, I still don't understand what we're deflating the tires for. I understand the technical words you used, but why? Why what? <laughs> why are we deflating what do you, tires? You don't understand. Is it because it's so bumpy we need to make it a little bit softer? No, it's because we need a better traction. We need to improve our off-road capabilities. Okay, so a softer tire will grab the ground better. It's uh, YouTube, so we'll put a link in the description. Я пришлю, ну, или через Пашу, ну и Паша вы знаете все, как там собака и вот Крюов Биверс Channel. Okay, so we have the links for all of this, the YouTube, VK, Telegram. I'm not sure what these last two are, but we'll figure it out. So check them out. Very cool. Crew of Beavers. Через нижнее подчеркивание. Beavers. И вот наш именной еще знак на багажнике. То есть вот он. So the, their theme, their logo, it's all about beavers because you know beavers live in the woods, they're cool, they're self-sufficient. Will we see some beavers today? Um, we wouldn't smoke it. Uh, no, they're not going to be able to do it. So they're not going to be able to do it. So they're not going to be able to do it. So in principle, we can see where they're going to be. Probably not because they usually hibernate in winter or at least they're asleep now. We might see where they usually live. We might even spot one, but probably not. So the last car is a little bit lower to the ground. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. It looks like the tires are bigger here. Yeah. <laughs> Got you. All the wonders of home. That is cool, man. Seriously, I've never seen this car. Swiss Army knife. Popular all around the world. Popular in America as well. Okay. We prepared the tires and now we're officially starting our journey off roading. Uh, Pavel is our boss today and again the expert, but not in Russian language this time and not in orthodoxy uh, or Russian transportation. Well, I guess it is an expert in Russian transportation, but off roading Russian transportation. And his friends, who are also YouTubers, they just told us in Russian and Josiah translated that we're going to go to um, Yuri Gagarin's crash site and he is the first man in the world, in the universe, to leave planet Earth and go into space. Um, and am I getting that right? What's his crash site? Is it when, when he came back to Earth or was yeah, this just it, like from flying a plane or yes, what? Yes, it was the uh, test flight pilot uh -huh. and he crashed. He tested plane. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> That's it. So was this Very simple. Was this before or after his space oh. trip? After? If, if, if it was before, how did he, he did manage to get to the oh, space? Oh, did he die in this crash? Yes, oh, died. okay. I didn't know if it was no, no, no. if yeah. it was just a regular crash no, no. where he was fine. Okay, so, so we'll be going to Yuri Gagarin's crash site where he died. Completely. Uh, um, completely died? Not partially. Okay. Um, in the, uh, I guess he was an astronaut and then he was testing planes um, like Howard Hughes. So this will be interesting to see. Wow. <laughs> wow, look at that. How do you like that? <laughs> it's great. 
so I guess there used to be a village here and they had a church and now it's just an abandoned church. Let's go inside. Definitely. We're at this old abandoned church and you see gravestones here. Um, so it's very sobering. Um, definitely makes me think about life and death. You know, people used to live here and they used to go to church here and, you know, loved ones are still buried here even though, you know, time has moved on and, uh, you know, the people that used to live here have moved on. Let's look at this. The arch ceiling. And look down, Josiah. It's like a crater. How old is this? I mean, no floor, right? It's all gone. It's not even, uh, I don't know what it used to be. Covered in snow here on the side of this old abandoned Whoa, church. You yeah, have crosses, I assume for, I don't Graveyard. know, are they for gravestones? Yes. Yeah, so, you know, these are different headpieces. You can see there's a cross right there. There's another one here. Come closer, you see that you can see Russian writing on this one. So. Very elegant, Josiah. Some food decorations still there. Not everything is gone. Uh, On the top of it. Cool. Good place to come and pray, that's for sure. Yes, people are coming here. Yeah. No, are still coming. Zara, where are you? Come on over here. Wow. Uh, we're inside this church. I don't want to be in here too long um, because all this is falling brick. You know, I don't want to get a head injury. But you can see people are leaving things here. I guess so people are still coming here. There's more over here and praying. They've got, you know, their, their pictures that they like that represent God and Jesus. Again, I'm not sure exactly how orthodox he goes. Parts. They are all forged. Wow. There's, there's no way to cast them. It's starting to snow right now, and this I think is so the water doesn't get in the engine, right? Snorkel. What is this? It's like a snorkel for the car. It is snorkel. So to go into rivers and things? Uh -huh. Wow. So now we are heading to the abundant military base. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. The anti missile wow. circle, circular around Moscow. The big circle. Big circle. Wow. So, a church, a military base, and Yuri Gagarin's final <laughs> resting place. <laughs> what did he say? But it's already like a. He said, an Russia element. tells Joseph that this is. Off road already. <laughs> Whoa. So look at how deep the snow is. It's a uh, forest road. Um, it's really off road. That's a glass. Road off road. I agree. И такая погода, снег идет. Да, погода шикарная. Тут вам не холодно, и без ветра, а все идеально. You comfortable, Josiah? Yeah. Do you know what is it in on the right hand? Uh, looks Can like a little tower that you would climb up into for something. For some? Think what? Deer hunting? Hunting? Yeah. The boar hunting, actually. Boar hunting? Yes. Wow. Pretty cool. We've got a lot of deer hunting in Florida, not so much boars. 
Pavel, are there any animals that we have to be aware of out here that might be dangerous? No, no, no. They, no, not dangerous, of course. We are in a big car. They are all afraid of the cars. So, but there is a lot of wild animals around here. The deers, the boars, mm -hmm. the bruises, mm -hmm. the rabbits, everything. The okay. foxes. So, you can see on the right hand from us, we just passed through I think three or four towers for hunting purpose. Wow, because uh, I've heard that bears are a thing in Russia. That, that's yeah. uh, Americans like to think that at least. Yeah. <laughs> I and, know. And I've also heard that wolverines are a problem. Like people get killed uh, by bears no, and wolverines. I'm about wolverine, I never heard about a single case. Uh -huh. well, the, the bears do exist, but. I didn't saw any, <laughs> but, but they are somewhere here, yes, they are exist, but I'm not sure, I'm not thinking that uh, in Russia there are more bears than in USA. No, конкретно вот на это место не подгружалось, к сожалению. So the car in Подъехали. front of us is stuck. Yes. Подъехали на старую военную базу Большого Кольца, посмотреть на нее. Ну вот тут уже снег поглубже, никто не ездит. I thought Russia had everything, but it didn't. For example, in Russia, Europe, and the USA, there's a unique product called Synthesit. But Russia doesn't have a powerful modification of the product Synthesit Fucoidin. It's a terrific product to restore energy and health. It normalizes blood flow. The red blood cells stop forming clots and blood starts to flow normally into all organs and tissues, heart and brain. Fucoidin Synthesit has only two natural, safe and highly effective components, the innovative mineral Synthesit and the cleanest and best in the world Fucoidin from the Australian firm Marinella. Fucoidin Synthesit can protect you from heart attacks, strokes and any other diseases that develop due to thick blood. Fucoidin Synthesit allows you to recover quickly from the disease even if doctors can't help you. This is the best product in the world. Follow the links in the description and order Synthesit Bucoidin with delivery to Europe or the USA. This product is not available in Russia. DC Dodge, look at this. The hangar for the missile carrier. So, and this is for what year do you think this was used, Pablo? Uh, I think, I, I think until late 70s, 1970s. So like 1950, 1970s, something like that? Yeah, yeah. Wow. This is secret military use. And we're, we're allowed to be here, don't we? So we're in an old abandoned military base that Pablo has brought us to. It's just open, and he turned the light on his camera, and he's going through these old concrete rooms like he's going through a cave. Hey, come on. I need the light, or I'm going to kill myself. I found the boat. All right. <laughs> do you need one? I do, but I won't use this one. It's dark without our lights. It's incredible. I am getting horror movie vibes. Yeah. Horror movie vibes? <laughs> like stalker movie, yeah? Очень интересно. I guess it's so far away from everything, you don't have people taking advantage of the place. 
Watch our steps in here. Well, there's a little graffiti, NFT. Wonder how old that is. Is that over there? Is that? Oh, it's Joe. Great, now I have to go deeper. Hey. One second. Yeah, uh, Here's the, the next hangar. Joe found a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm not stepping into it though because that does not look safe. It's completely safe. Yeah, come take the camera. And you can leave. Oh, ah. Good job. I was quite excited seeing the abandoned church earlier because it looked like something to use in D&D. This is just creepy. I think that in America, this would be completely closed. Um, but in Russia, you can come take a look. Their abandoned facility is open. Um, and I'm not saying one way is better than another. I understand there's a safety aspect to shutting the area down, but there's also a curiosity aspect. You can come take a look. Uh-oh, Pavel is getting stuck. Now he's unstuck. Just move out of the way. <laughs> what are we doing now, Pavel? Simple break for eating. Breakfast? Like late breakfast. Late breakfast? Uh, sure. Russian tradition, snowball. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! So what's your name? My name is Ilya. Ilya? Mm -hmm. So Ilya has a YouTube channel as well. What is your speciality for your... My speciality, first of all, was a channel about my hobbies, uh, such as uh, off-roading and RC off-roading. Radio control cast of of roading. Oh wow! So probably you've heard uh, nearby Florida place you live. Uh, there's a Texas and there's a company uh, named like uh, Texas. Texas probably you've heard. Oh, Texas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the Texas uh, made uh, make a lot of RC cars and uh, especially of roading cars. One ten scale, uh, GP Zod Mercedes, for example. Ford 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 and you can I ride. think we've seen that, right, Josiah? In I Florida, think so. there's a park, and it's like, it's a track probably this big, right? Yeah. It's, and and, and the cars are probably the size of that bread. You no, know, a little bit bigger. Yeah. Such a Sometimes the size of the table. Yeah, but they, they are around. almost the real cars. They've got an axle, real axles, uh, uh, looking differentials. Uh, low gears and something like that you can buy a lot of tires for example tuning uh, tires tuning wheels and you can ride it tune it and keep. that sounds like a fantastic hobby yeah right. <laughs> okay so <laughs> subscribers we can do a bigger review. you know pavel he's been on my channel a lot this is his car he's taking us off-roading on the small review and he just impressed me he has modified this vehicle a lot. Um, so if you're not on his channel, I recommend it. This table is his invention. He, he put this together. The seats that fold down there, like you see in other people's cars, he installed a mattress, so it's actually nice like a bed. It, it is a bed. He's got a compartment there. Organizer. Did you do that? Yes. Nice. By my hands. What else did you do? Surely that is all, right? The washer. Hand washer? Hand washer? So I guess you, you bought the device online and you This one, you put yes. In. This one is 3D printer. Mm.
Pavel says we're going to cross a river now, so we're going to check it out. And it is snowing on us, and the sun is starting to set. I think they're trying to decide if the cars can cross, if it's too deep or not. There's a walking bridge right there that Pavel and his daughter took. Which country is more beautiful, America or Russia? I won't make you decide. Um, I don't want to decide, but I think it's clear that they're both very beautiful places. Все, хорош. Лебедку разматывай. Что, я в сапогах только, да? Josiah, let's upload these videos to Spetta because the sun's going down, my phone's about to die, and if we all get stuck here, I don't know if anyone knows where we are. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the next one. 